Welcome back to Sonic Ranch 2. We are gonna give some stuff to Banksy, who should be somewhere around here. There you are. Hello. How do I... Uh, is it that button? No, that button. No, hold on, hold on, wait there. How do I... How do I switch... Um, the command? I thought it was triangle, but it isn't. Actually, can I check that, maybe? Switch action window. What? Well, tried that. Did I? Okay. Get some strength. Get some more strength. Get some... Fly? No, swim, swim. Purple is fly. Fly. Most fly. There you go, buddy. You're looking great. Bye. I forgot you can't do the somersault in here. I was trying to do the somersault jumpy thing. How badass he looks. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald slowly, and then we'll talk about your good friend. That is, if you really care for him. Handing over the fake emerald? I can kill two birds with one stone. I gotta assume that was inner monologue and not what Sonic just said. Um, Dark Side Story, you don't get to see Sonic's side of this cutscene, so we just you just cut the meat to the explosion. That's the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> so I point that out. You can easily fuck that one up badly. I feel some strange energy. Hey, 
see Sonic. Whoa, I wasn't sure if I could pull that one off. Somehow I managed to use the chaos control. Chaos control? Are you okay? I'm worried about Tails and Amy. I hate to ask, but could you help them? This is our last chance. I got it. Fourth cannon fires. I'll slam dunk it in there. So I just want to point out that Tails basically actually created a Chaos Emerald that works. Which means that they can create the gems of infinite cosmic energy. This is Final Rush, one of the best levels in Sonic history. Also one of the hardest levels, <laughs> because it's so much grinding. And this was before they made grinding easy, so you need to actually you need to balance yourself in this game. Which they took out of all future Sonic games. And I kinda miss it to be honest. Because it made grinding something special and now it's just kind of oh, now I'm on a rail for a bit. <laughs> of course everyone does this. Like the first speed run tricks anyone plays this finds, and I jump too early. I suck at this game. I'm so fucking bad at this game. It's it's sad. Now yeah, this is better. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay, that was the camera's fault. I'm just gonna do it normally now, I'm sorry. I want to show off and be cool, but I can't. You saved so much time in that though. <laughs> Okay, there we go. This, this still has a great sense of speed, like one of the best senses of speed like any Sonic game has had. This level, this level is actually hard to talk during because like it's so much focus you put into just the jumps and the grinding. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have picked up the electric shield, that was my bad. It means I can't use the light dash to reach those rails anymore. Oh shit, that was bad. Go? Okay, good. Doesn't help this entire level is set over, uh, over a bottomless pit too, like really is up to your paranoia about falling down. Oh. That was that was a bad jump. That's better. 
That's what I, what I wanted to do last time. Okay, I think purple is the one I want to go with. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So I last played this game in 2012, I think it was, and I didn't finish the game then. I just, I played through Hero and Dark Story. And I got to the second to last boss, and then I just kind of stopped playing. Uh, and that was the 360 version, I think. Yeah, it was. I was actually going to play the Dreamcast version for this playthrough because I couldn't get the PC version to record properly first before I started using my Elgato to record. Let's see, uh, we're close to the end now. Always oh, gotta have a chase scene. Sonic Adventure games sure love their chase scenes. And I love them too. Actually, 3D Sonic games in general love them. Barely made it. Yeah. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know, space. what can I say? I die hard. You actually saved me, you know. It was a Chaos Emerald, wasn't it? But there's no way you could have activated the Chaos Control using an Emerald that's fake. So, there's more to you than just looking like it. What are you, anyway? What you see is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Your adventure days are coming to an end. So here we go, final boss of the hero story. Shadow of the Hedgehog. And this is a bit different. Last time the trick was using somersaults. Now it's spin dashes. And this path we're running on is constantly... Oh, shit. What the hell is with the controls? Like, something weird happened with the controls there. Um, the, the path we're running on is constantly collapsing behind us. And if we're... The target homing attack, we can do that once. After that, this starts again. But, what we can do is we can let him run ahead of us. And he will do that. And then we can... What just happened? The homing attack just threw me off the... whatever. Point is that he stops to do his attack, and if we dodge the attack, we can just... Um, yeah, I know, Michelle. Uh, we can just um, use the little time he's standing there to attack him. Maybe we can do that as well. I'm just gonna try doing that this time. Oh. Okay. okay, we can just do that. That makes it much easier. Oh, shit. I didn't know you could actually do this all the time. I thought you could do it like once or twice, but I like, guess not. Oh, no, there we go. Now he dodges it, okay. Okay. I wonder 
if we can... No. I do like that the, even he will do like the homing attack. Shot. You lied to me. Yeah, what he says is this is the ultimate power of chaos control, but you never really hear him say it because you run away from him. <laughs> you just hear, this is the ult. Do it. Do it. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the? It's the fact that the cinematic camera um, changes my direction. Because it, it changes what up means. So there, I just actually, I, I let go of the analog stick and it worked. So yeah, we beat Hero Side Story. That was it. So we're gonna watch the final cutscene, and then next episode we will continue the dark side story. Sonic, I did it. Yeah, they think Sonic's dead. Of course, Sonic wouldn't die for another five years. Awesome job, Tails. Sonic. CG cutscene! So this is Sonic's idea, right? See that big explosion, that iron cannon that was charging up and... Like basically anything in that vicinity would be dead, right? Where do you think Sonic is? Yeah, he's just right there. I can breathe in space, mofo. Not CG though. And it says it doesn't matter. Re recorded for um, 22. Same lyrics, but different beat and. Yeah, just awesome. So that's the hero side story of Sonic Adventure 2. Um, <laughs> fuck, I, I still remember. I still remember way back when I got this game for the Dreamcast in, in 2001. How happy I was. I remember actually going back even further. I remember following the website for this game because um, there was an official. Well, we didn't call them blogs back then, but there was an official uh, web portal where, where the developers posted little news. Uh, it was back when it had a black and white logo and only Sonic, Knuckles, and Eggman was playable. And, um, like, I actually used the um, the Wayback Machine to go back to way back when that was the website to look at it. Then it was like this big, just nostalgia filled, amazing adventure to look at. A website from like the early two, like, early early 2000, I think that was when it went up. When they announced Sonic Adventure 2 for the first time. And they talked about all the stuff they wanted to do with the game and it was was really fucking cool. Um, I of course had just like I, I had played Sonic Adventure One just a year before because I got the Dreamcast uh, uh, Winter '99. I've I've told that story before. Um, so just sitting there waiting for uh, Sonic Adventure Two to, to um, arrive was something special, you know. Like it was probably the first video game I followed the hype up towards release for. Cause like. The internet was still new, and following a website for that was kind of weird. 
and I never really followed gaming magazines much, so it was that was the first time I really like, oh my god. Oh, Peter Moore, of course, back when he worked at Sega. Um, uh, I, I followed the the, the the screenshots, which were like 240 by 160 or something, <laughs> and like quick time videos um, that took forever to download and then weren't very good quality anyway. Like the first trailer, like half of the trailer is just screenshots. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <sighs> so now we're gonna get a little teaser for the Dark Side episode. Because we finished the Hero Side story first. And you get a teaser for the other story, depending on which one you finish. And yoy. Oh, right, first emblem. Da -da -ding. Eggman steals the research from a military base located on an island to the south. The military's top secret weapon, Shadow. Sealed in the space colony park, the Seven Chaos Emerald. When all of the keys have been collected, world conquest will be ahead. Sonic Adventure 2, The Dark Side Story. Long live the Eggman Empire. 